This is excellent, not just because of Cade Cunningham, but Oynton is a really good basketball coach, and he's got a, uh, a demeanor that is so good with the players. Uh, he's so smart, and and I think he takes not only the the, the current keep all my good stats to myself. I don't share them with anyone. Heard that from coworkers. <laughs> Seven-point game. It's beat by Oregon State. If Oregon wins, they win outright the Pac-12 championship. Shot clock down to ten. Jabuzo Agbo kicks it back up top to Edwards for three. The back tap kept alive by Peavy. The freshman. Play right there. Peavy did and here is play. Peavy on the baseline. Threes for Macy Oteague alone, eight for nine from three point land. But well, teams like to make eight, never mind one guy. Let me factor in certainly the other players, Mitchell and Butler. They've had a big day shooting the three. A clunk, can't connect. Jonathan Chamwet Chachua. Yeah, oh yeah, there's no chance they're going there. They just didn't have the <laughs> intestinal fortitude to go for it. We'll, we'll hear a couple of everyday Johns at halftime. And Davion Mitchell just yeah. took a shot. Extraordinarily energetic Caleb Boone is as he sets up a second chance for Oklahoma State that Cunningham threw away a big possession And let's see if they can get the switch they want now. It's Mark Vidal switched out on Cade Cunningham got a lot of space Entry pass deflected and taken away by Meyer the hand on it for Davion Texas Mitchell. Texas Tech and Texas Tech is the number one points against defensive team in the Big 12. So they can lock you down, but now they turn it over, and Santo Silva fouls Davion this year. tournament several years ago. Remember Sister Jean? She's now 101 years of age. You talk about a great story. A love for the Ramblers is special. Right now, they're going to be back in the big dance. Three, four games under 500. I'll make an exception there for Michigan State. I really will, because number one, you beat Illinois, you beat Ohio State at the time they were number four and number five in the country. Come on. And when they lost three games in a row, they just keep. The time now at the NBA well, level and at the college level. Yeah, because they've moved the three-point line out, Bob, the young players don't don't educate their feet down there. It's a different footwork than you are shooting. Three guards, they're going to play iso ball. Neal gets a screen from Culver and gets double teamed. <laughs> yes, Rogers with the shoot. Basketball fan. Nice job by Davion Mitchell inside. To Mark Vidal will be the first college graduate in his family. And it's just a great story. And he really epitomizes so much of what this Baylor program has become. It was an early 13 point lead for Baylor. That's the second foul on Butler. So this game becomes a little more interesting now. It looked like Baylor might. You're not going to believe this. One of my blue guys, somebody remind me of this. One of my blue guys, he was an unbelievable blue guy. He packed the rim, really really bad, plays tough defense, played on a great team. He did their team only lost two games and beat 86 in the national. Taz Sherman rims out a three. Osaboyan right back outside. I love the pace they're playing with, Bob. They're you mentioned Thamba. He's been very active. Couple of screens here to set up this opportunity for Butler, who got wrangled down to the deck. And here comes Oklahoma State in transition. And that throw behind was ill-advised by the freshman Rondell Walker. Definitely tournament to lose a, a leader and a, uh, a Koozie Award candidate in Colin Gillespie. Uh, what, what a horrible break for, for Villanova. Throw away by Butler off the turnover. Oh! Swatted away by Mitchell on the recovery defense. Just a special player on both ends. What a pass. Emmett Matthews lost his footing. Here comes Davion Mitchell. Gives it up. Flagler. 
just rolls it off the front of the rim. Macy Oteague there against Cade Cunningham. And Macy Oteague has length as well. His arms go forever. There he is in the corner and Baylor. To save it as he got into his own teammate Mitchell off the pitch ahead. And a pull-up three is cash for a 13-point lead for Macy O.T. Getting beat was Drake. I have to see Drake at 25 and 4. And Belmont's another team. I think those two teams really belong in the dance. We should recognize greatest team. Hey, by the way, Michigan State was up seven with about 12 minutes to go. Uh, Michigan could be up to the city. Michigan State time is a little to pull the knockout. He can't he can't oh, no, make no, but just too much from three-point land for Baylor today for any team to handle. He's got a double double on senior day. He's been punched in the mouth twice. Now yeah. he's punching back. Yeah. Good play by Meyer. And another turnover. Mitchell ahead to Teague for the lay-in. And it's all Baylor right now. And one of the few times that Baylor didn't get back with a sense of purchase, uh, purpose in transition. And now the other way, that would have been huge for Oklahoma State. Mitchell got a three. Oh, that was a tough sequence for the Cowboys. For Oklahoma State, they turned it over 16 times in the first meeting. They were minus six against Baylor and that big comeback win for the Bears back in January. Well, Baylor forces about 18 turnovers a game. They have a, one of the best turnover percentage rates in the country. And Davion Mitchell, he is a stud. He's a veteran player. You know, he played in that championship game against Virginia. Did well in that game. And he's a guy that's now picked it up. And they need him, especially going to tournament action. He and Shannon have to it. What a great drive. What a great drive. What about the speed and quickness going to the basket? When I came out of the game as a player, I would have loved to have this kind of bench distance to stay away from, from the head coach, who usually wanted to yell at me for everything I did. That's another great pass. Mitchell to find down low for another two. Inside. Point on the end of what very well could be a Big 12 player of the year season, even with the COVID pause that... Baylor suffered through. He has had an incredible season in four. Can they knock down threes? Bill and Mohegan Sun Arena in Connecticut. Boston College has a really nice backcourt. A oh, beautiful play out of the timeout. They look to go to a lob after a timeout. Played at UMass. Remember that backcourt? Beautiful. Ian Travieso. Carmelo Travieso. Yes. It was one of the, uh, as, as a play by play guy, you love saying Padilla and Travieso. Was that as much fun as Chamwa Chachua? <laughs> Chachua. <laughs> Scott Drew told me in high school he was criticized for being too passive. He doesn't look passive to me. No, he's, he's worked through that issue. <laughs> he's gotten over that, hasn't he? Lob. And the finish for Chamwa Chachua. They're just putting Kofi Coburn in as many pick and roll situations as they can. That's why Mitchell had the ball. If you're West Virginia, you had to know. To be able to complete that. And Oklahoma State has clawed its way to a two-possession game in this one. And the zone has been helpful. Oh. Meyer down low and a great thread through from Mitchell. Mm. But that's something. It's not all on the officials. That's something the rules committee has to clean up. We've got to change change the way we, we call that. Defeated home season at the Ferrell Center. That started the Ferrell Center in 1988. Getting to Baylor, they had been ranked in program history a total of two games. I mean, you talk about a guy who has taken a program to another level. Look at this feed, and Meyer with a reverse. Just a beautiful cut by Meyer. Bob said, why don't you just spend your red shirt year here instead of going to high school practice against our guys every day he has really made a great performance as a freshman good look inside that's a breakdown i oh, totally agree the christian brown in kansas i love his energy harkless at oklahoma brock cunningham at texas i agree 
three-point shot. Deion Mitchell adds to the Baylor lead. Got to recognize that shot clock. Did not reset. Down to five. Maybe on Mitchell. Shoot, shoot one on it. one. There's the step back. And there's yep. the three. When he starts to measure the defender with the with his dribble. Derek Butler, what a great career he's had. Maybe on Mitchell at the elbow. That rolls around and falls through. I mean, he throws up for us. Buckets have essentially come off broken plays where Baylor's played great defense. Just hadn't finished the possession. Well, a really small lineup in there for Baylor right now with a vital in is the five man along with four perimeter players. They might be small, but man, they can play low. Yeah. These guys can use leverage. Not sure, should he pick up Thamba? Exactly what should happen? Just not enough talk. And an offensive rebound on the missed free throw by Davion Mitchell. Got a mismatch with a big fella, Bajanashvili on him. Step back three. Got it! And they limit you to one shot. Shot clock at five. Mitchell for three. The exclamation point, perhaps, on a great evening for the Bears. He has had some games. For either team to pick up his fourth foul. Remember, Culver's got three, Bob. Davion Mitchell out of control. The loose ball, though, to T. Mitchell spots up. Knocks down a three. Big, big shot. That young man has improved that shooting as much as you possibly could. About nearly 50% behind the arc. That's happened when those kind of shots go down. Can Mitchell answer? Yes, he can. So Mitchell said, that's the way you do it. Look at the nylon, smooth, silky smooth. In the second half, he had 13 in the first half to lead Texas Tech. He's been quiet, but that makes it a seven-point game. Got to come up with some defensive stops here. Maybe on Mitchell. Another three serious? for Baylor. That's their 12. <laughs> you know, a proud tradition for this Illinois program. Back in the 80s, Lou Henson had some great teams as Mitchell knocks down a three. They went to the final four. Board and Mark Vital is able to pull it down. We know Baylor's got a good backcourt. Here's that speed. Look at that right there. That's a good start by Davion Mitchell. It's in the middle third of the floor where it's more difficult for Baylor to switch and more difficult to help. And Caleb Boone has been on a tear. It can, he can finish equally well with his right or his left. What a time. Davion Mitchell. Out there star, scorer and rebounder. Kenny Hempel. And I'll tell you this. They say he's going to come back for the tournament. So I hope the committee looks at that. Blocking foul called on Adolni on the drive by Davion Mitchell. So Mitchell will head to the free throw line. Baylor led this game right out of the gate, 16 to 3. And that is the mental toughness of this Texas Tech team under Chris Beard as they just stayed with their game plan and have worked their way right back into it. And McClung is able to draw the charge on Davion. Next play. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. But his, his basketball IQ is terrific. Meyer, nice look to Mitchell. Mitchell drives by Desumu and lays it in easily. Boy, that is way too easy. And now a turnover. 